here's what we fed the AI, which is a pretty complicated side table. You can see it even has some more details here. And this is what the AI created for us. This is just insane how good this is. I found Meshi.ai, where you can actually create your own 3D models through text to 3D. And not only that, but also image to 3D, which is absolutely insane. Now, this is one of the best AI tools to generate 3D models. As you can see, it is used for furniture, it is used for characters and all of that. But this time around, we're going to see some use tests on interior design and also architecture in general. So what we're going to do here is after you've opened a Meshi.ai account, you can go to text to 3D and we're going to test something like a uh, leather and wood armchair. And let's see. So we're going to click generate. And in just a minute, we're going to have something ready. As you can see, it already created a 3D model of an armchair for us. And now it is going to take some time to also do all of the texturing and materials on it. So as you can see, it is not just some basic model. It has a lot of polygons and it is very detailed in terms of the cushions and everything else. Now, the good thing about Meshi.ai is that even once the model is generated and textured, you can still go ahead and modify it further by the poly count or even the texture. Now, this is just one instance where we're testing out an armchair. We're going to try a sofa and other stuff with image to 3D in just a minute. Now, as you can see, uh, we generated this a little earlier. Now, let's go here. You can see that we even have more models to choose from. Now, once these are generated, we can choose one of them and see which one we want to go further along with actually uh, using in our uh, 3D render or 3D model. So uh, let's say in this example, we would go for something like this. Now we can click generate um, the texture, or we can also choose the amount of polygons that we want. I think I want the highest amount of polygons if we are going to optimize for quality and not for uh, file size, um, basically not optimize by file size. So I'm going to click confirm. And in just a second, you're going to see how this will go ahead and texture the model that we generated. So as you can see, Meshi now has generated the model for us as now. I mean, it's pretty visible that it is very detailed. It is high quality and it is even textured. You can also retexture it. Uh, you can just input the text and only change the textures on it. But this is just an example of what you can do. And you can easily download this and then use it for your own um, through your model, you can see all of the different file objects. This is easily accessible with previous Mac, uh, Blender, or even SketchUp. So very, very useful. Now you might say this is very general and I might even find something online. Why would I use AI for this? Well, now in that case, if you want something more specific, you can go to image to 3D and you can use an image that you found online off a reference. For example, a furniture, this would be a sofa. You're going to see how this will name curved comfort sofa. That is exactly what it is. That is what AI detected. And we're going to click generate. And in just a second, we are going to see this model in just one click. This is such a time saver. I remember years ago when I had to model um, specific sofas, specific tables, specific stools and all that. It would take hours and hours and hours and just add more time until the final result was delivered. Nowadays, as you can see, we just upload the image, wait a few seconds, and it will automatically be modeled for us. And on top of that texture, just do Meshi AI. So now the models have been generated, as you can see. And now out of these, we will choose the best one, uh, the one that is the most similar to what we have here. And I think we're going to go with the top right one. Uh, so I'm just going to click on this. And then we are going to go ahead and click generate texture and see what the results are from the image. As you can see, it is pretty accurate and it has a high poly count. So this will look very organic and very good on the model once we would actually download. it. So as you can see, it already textured this for us. Uh, there are some minor adjustments that need to be made around this. But overall, I think it's pretty much there. Uh, we can still do edits on this. So we could uh, retexture if you want to. We can upload a texture. Um, basically, not leave this as an image, but we can basically upload like a PBR texture map, just like uh, we would do in a 3D model, uh, which isn't a huge issue here. So we can just go and let me just upload something here real quick. So I'm just going to upload this fabric beige 
um, texture. And let's see how this would texture all our model here in just one click. So we do the mapping, the UV mapping and all that all for us in just one click. We just upload the texture. We would have the height map, the reflection map and everything else. Okay, so you might be thinking, of course, it is easier on something like this. Now, what if it is like a more advanced or more complicated image that we need to turn into 3D? So let's test that out. I have here like an industrial side table with like a high adjuster. It is an industrial adjustable table. Let's see how it performs this time. The texture will be all metal. However, the modeling has some more intricate details like some curves here and even the actual handle that increases or decreases the height of the table. So as you can see, this is actually pretty insane. I mean, I can show you in just a second. Here's what we fed the AI, which is a pretty complicated side table. You can see it even has some more details here. And this is what the AI created for us. This is just insane how good this is. So I remember it was this exact same table a few years ago that took a long time to generate for me in an interior uh, project that I had. So I was going to click confirm. Now in just a second, we're going to see how the actual final 3D model will look like. So wow, as you can see, the level of detail, even in the texturing is just insane. It's not just all uniform metal. You can see there are details in the stains of the metal. Uh, there are details here in the wood and everything. So this is just great. One other thing that I would like to mention is that you can also see the community uh, creations here, which you can download and use yourself. There are a bunch of users here using Meshi, and this is growing in popularity every single day. Now, if you're a user of D5, which is something that I speak about often on this channel, you might not know, but Meshi is already pre-integrated into your workflow in the sense that if you, for example, go here at the assets right next to it, you can see that there is a text to 3D icon. And if you didn't know, this is actually all created by uh, the Meshi engine. So what we will do here is let's type in coffee mug uh contemporary or whatever so uh let's say we can click generate we can give it just a few seconds uh let's make it realistic you see i've tested some stuff out a football or a farm truck a car vehicle i've tried to give it as many hints as possible let's see how it actually creates a coffee mug for us so these are a few options now we can just choose one of them and we can basically click on it and then we can also click refine if you want to make any changes uh just like the way that it works in um in the basically meshy web app that i showed you earlier we can import this and then we can lower the size of it for example and leave it here in this interior model this is just one example of how we can create stuff with meshy integrated with d5 render but even if you do not use d5 render you can easily download the models that we created or the ones that you will create yourself now if you want to stop struggling with 3d modeling every single thing yourself even for furniture interiors accessories or anything like that go ahead and click the first link below to open your meshi account and start using it now to get ahead of the ai game in 3d